Hello, my name is Clive Scott and this is part 8 of a course on Java and it's about the ternary operator. Um, as you can see this is the second version of uh, part 8. Um, I've rewritten it um, uh, because um, I wasn't really satisfied with um, how it looked and um, I think it was a bit too complicated so I've taken the opportunity to simplify it a bit and uh, hopefully make it a bit easier to understand and um, I've, uh, as you can see I've also increased the resolution. Uh, well this is what uh, I'm going to be covering. Uh, just to generally start with the uh, ternary operator and uh, say what it is and um, sort of priority and that sort of thing and then discuss in some detail um, the numeric case where uh, it's using numeric um, uh, expressions. Uh, then I'll uh, show you what is different between version um, the previous version of the ternary operator and the current version. Uh, in the old uh, version 2 of the language it was sli slightly different it's, uh, version 3 is a different thing to version 2 uh, then I want to discuss supertypes and subtypes and, uh, and uh, then intersection types uh, because that will give us enough information and uh, enough uh, tools to be able to discuss the non-numeric case um, and finally I'll discuss uh, arrays and intersection types and uh, finish up with a load of examples and uh, and then I'll discuss what's next. Um, by the way um, the, the word is uh, ternary operator not tertiary. Um, some people wrongly call it tertiary. Tertiary means um, third and ternary may, means um, um, in three parts. So there's a distinction between the two. It's uh, ternary and not tertiary. It's also uh, called um, the conditional operator as well because uh, there's only one conditional operator and this is it. Uh, well, um, in simple terms this is what the uh, ternary operator is. Um, it's uh, got three operands, uh, that's why it's called ternary. And um, this first operand here, this uh, boolean expression, uh, must be of type uh, boolean uh, or its wrapper class, that'll do. And um, if uh, the boolean expression is uh, true, then expression 1 is evaluated otherwise expression 2 is evaluated and um, it's a compile time error if um, either expression 1 or expression 2 is of type void and um, it could be of type void for example um, if you was uh, calling a method which uh, returned void uh, that would be an example of uh, an expression which was of type void and uh, if it's a type void as I say it's compiler error so can't do it. Now um, the operator is uh, is uh, right to left associative. So that means if you've got something like that, uh, which is almost uninterpretable, it's the same as this over here. And uh, myself, I would always put the brackets in, and uh, I'd put them in even if there's only one. But uh, that's just me. Uh, now the um, a priority is just above assignment and uh, you can do something like uh, this here and if you do that um, uh, that's a typical sort of thing you might do and uh, what it means is um, uh, what it's saying is um, int x equals um, well if boolean then y else z and what it does is it simply sets um, x to either y or z depending on the value of boolean so um, all this is uh, really pretty straightforward, nothing too difficult. So uh, what's the problem? Why is this such a difficult thing? Well, it turns out that it's difficult because it's difficult to get the typing sorted out. You see, um, what we've got here is an assignment going on. And uh, uh, this here, x, is of type int. So it means that this thing over here had better be of type int or it won't work. So what we have to be concerned about is what is the type of that uh, ternary uh, expression and um, uh, if you look at it the type is going to depend on the type of expression 1 and the type of expression 2 and uh, that's where all the problem lies and that's where the difficulty lies because these can be uh, a quite a variety of different sort of types and um, uh, this is where it can get complicated so anyway we deal with a simple case first this is the simple non-numeric case. Um, here's expression 1, well at least the type of expression 1 and the type of expression 2 and the type of the um, resulting 
um, ternary expression down there. So if um, expression 1 and expression 2 are the same type, I've used T here, then the result is that type as well. So that's nice, easy, what you'd expect. Um, if expression 1 is Boolean and expression 2 is its wrapper class, then the result is um, Boolean. Now, um, when I'm talking about this, um, I better say it now. Um, uh, expression 1 and expression 2 are interchangeable. Um, so it doesn't matter if I have it the other way around. So this is uh, the wrapper class and that's the Boolean. It makes no difference. So I'm only going to put it one way around. The, the result, the, 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 the type of the result is, um, is um, uh, symmetrical with respect to the type of expression 1 and expression 2. So it doesn't matter which way around they are, that's what I'm saying. Um, now, if we got um, uh, the null type, and that's uh, there's only one way to get that basically, and that's to write null in as a literal, and the reference type, then the result is the uh, reference type there. Now, this uh, the null type, by the way. Um, the the only way you can get that, as I said, is is to write the null literal. And it, it is not. What I do not mean is uh, you've got some uh, sort of um, a reference type in there that happens to contain null because that is not uh, the type of that is not null the null type it is that reference type so what I mean by that null type is literally null in there okay and uh, these are all the simple fairly obvious easy cases to deal with and uh, here's a little tip um, if you make expression 1 and expression 2 the same type um, by casting if necessary, uh, then you won't need to remember any sort of complex rules which follow. So um, if you find them difficult to remember and you can't remember them, you need to do something, just cast cast both expression 1 and expression 2 to the same type and you won't have to worry about it. Right, let's look at something a little bit more difficult. Let's go to the next stage.